It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buffalo Bills and the Seattle Seahawks. Next on Madden NFL 25. It's a stadium known for its design, its noise, and a fan base so passionate. Well, you know this first day, and they've retired a jersey number for them. Welcome, everybody, to Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win for several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field all that experience is stored up there right between the ears <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more likely is going to come away with the win here's jason myers to get this one going and away we go from lumen field ty johnson now to return and this return gets to the 30 before he stopped so here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. And it was another MVP caliber season for Josh this season to go double-digit wins, huge numbers. This guy just produces and has each and every year. And what I love, and I know his organization loves, is him breaking that NFL quarterback record with 15 rushing touchdowns. And he'll make his way through for a pick of a four. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's good for a Bills first down. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Completed over the middle. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you, and there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. From the 43, Coleman with the grab. And they get this down to the 28. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. The nice thing about a drag route is it works versus zone. You can find that soft spot and get a completion, but they can be very effective when you've got an excellent route runner running away on that drag route for man coverage. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he finds space for about a three-yard gain. It was Tyrell Johnson with the tackle. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Looking from the gun, it's Allen. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Shakir sent in motion left. Allen on third down. Pass is cut at the nine. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the nine. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. 
Dalton Kincaid, the intended target there. And it's second and goal. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. Just a couple on that play. It's going to be third and goal. Cooper, the touchdown. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone while getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Bass now to kick this away. Ramiska Chanel to return it. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They'll be led out by the 12th year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. The NFL's comeback player of the year just two years ago, resurrecting a career and writing a script that I don't think anybody saw coming. Last year, another 3,600 yards and 20 touchdowns with an 8-7 and seven record as a starter, but there's a lot of new. A new system, a new coordinator. And for Geno Smith, he tell you, a new head coach that, uh, well, he's got to create the same confidence and belief in that Pete Carroll certainly had in Geno. Can't wait to watch this script unfold. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Kenneth Walker gets it for the first time. And they're taken down at the 43 yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And it sets up Seattle with first down. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know, because I've been around this league a long time, runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody, and maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. Smith on first down. Bails out of the pocket quick. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Toss play. This is Walker. And he gets taken down immediately right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing for them on second down, and now it's third and one. The chances of stalling this drive defensively seem bleak, but how about now? <laughs> Look at those odds changing, Kate. Still not great, but you could feel a little momentum on their side. Maybe they can muster it up and get back-to-back -back stops. On third down, Walker. Oh, he trucked that defender. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused on executing the play in front of them. Their opening drive continues. First and 10 now from the 39. They go play action. Here's Smith. That's a catch. Jackson Smith and Jigba. And they finally bring him down. That is a big gain and a new set of downs. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know, Kate, you'll find 
teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. First and ten now. Here's Smith. Smith and Javon there to grab it. And he'll get this inside the ten to the nine. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And off to Walker from the gun. And he drives this forward to the six. They get two on the play, and now they've got first and goal. Not trying to do too much there. Short yardage situation. Just make sure you get to the marker and reset those chains. They've set themselves up well for an opening drive touchdown here. Brock gets first and goal. From the gun, Smith. That's caught. Here's that shot with it. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five yard line. Second and goal coming up. Five yards to the end zone. Smith in the pistol. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when you could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, ooh, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Now it's Jason Myers on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Seahawks respond with seven of their own to tie it here early. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the eight. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Buffalo offense out there for their second drive of the contest. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. There is no thought needed from him. He has been doing this so long, getting back to college and high school. Those instincts, and they come at you with a capital I. Identify that run, fire downhill, and get home in the backfield before that play can get started. Here's second and 11. Smith in the here, Kate. Right? We talk about explosive plays. Every offense is looking for them. But when a defense can go back-to-back -back jack with the top of the loss and the sack, they're more than doing their job. Gotta figure out this third down here. Allen to throw. That's Kincaid with a catch out loud. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. You get to that money down, that third down, you look to your money players, and this tight end is capable of it. Let's give some credit to the defense right there. Did an amazing job not only sticking to him, but bringing him down before he can move the chains. So on fourth down, on comes Sam Martin to handle the punt for the Bills. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. So no return on that punt. And it'll be Seahawks football. So Seattle retakes the field for their second series. 
They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. First play of the drop. Hit behind the line, and the ball is loose. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. Shotgun snap to Smith. He completes it in traffic. And he'll go down and miss it right at the 39 yard line. That's a pickup of nine. And the Seahawks will have a first down. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl right, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Walker now from the gun. And he's into the front for a game of about two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Play fake. Now Smith to throw. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. You hear defensive coaches on every practice field we're on preach not giving up the big play, especially at the NFL level. They'll need to stay vigilant because they're definitely going to use that receiver to take the lid off this defense again. Throwing on third. Smith. Passing struggles bleeding over from that last play. He's forced to get rid of this one. Fourth down punt from the Seahawks. And that means we're going to see Michael Dixon head on to send it skyward. It's fielded at the 14. He gets him out of the deep part of their half. This is out across the 20. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. More from Lumen Field in just a minute. We're back for the second quarter. Bills in possession of the football. They got this after forcing a punt at the end of one. First down throw for Allen. And he's got this complete to James Cook. And he's got a gain of six there. Brought down by Reek Woolen. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. You know, Kate, years ago, my old high school receiver and I got together for a football camp. I could still close my eyes and throw him that slant. We've done it millions of times. You get a QB receiver connection like that, it's dynamite. First and 10. Here's Allen. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And he's taken down at the 30. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Tight end in motion. 
motion left. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Again, it's Cook. Jukes one defender. And as this play winds up out of bounds, let's see what that flag is all about. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Back to the line they go. It's second down. And the shotgun. It's Allen. Complete to Shakir. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Devin Witherspoon there on the stop. Textbook gets right. He's hit him in the short field and deliver it once that defense turns their attention elsewhere. Okay, this is a low ceiling play but a reliable source of yardage. It's their nades need to get a chunk here. Ready from the gun, it's Allen. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And this play reaches the 12 yard line before the stop is made. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Touchdown through the air for him, Brock. And independent of the game situation, we both know he's going to be happy to leave the field with two of them in one game. One touchdown, you just might be right time, right place. But two touchdowns in a game is always about the preparation. The separations of the preparation. Mm. It's doing that work on the practice field and knowing before the game that when my number's called, I'm going to be there to deliver. Bass gets the extra point to go. And the Rams break that tie and now lead by seven. Bass now to kick this away. Here comes Williams on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Seahawks offense taking the field now. It's a touchdown ball game right now, Brock. 14-7 as they start this possession. Walker on first down. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. with Walker again. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down.
Third and a lone yard coming up. Now there's the flag. Looks like the jump came from the left side of the line. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And, well, they got one of them to move that time. The penalty makes this a third and six. Pressure comes. Smith. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. I think his decision-making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB could run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. So another punt coming up. Michael Dixon back out there. And this will be his second effort of the contest. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. The Bills and receiver Amari Cooper making their way back out. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Putting a receiver in motion. On first down, Allen connects with Cook. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. This is one of those instances, Kate, where it's so easy for me in the booth to say, probably better off not catching that. But a running back's instinct is to bring everything down. And the instincts of that defense will knock him backwards. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. This will be caught by Cooper. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. We ain't Maffei bringing that play to a halt. You know, as any quarterback is going to tell you, that's one of the most difficult things to do. No one you're going to get blasted. That defender's coming right at you, but you've got to throw an accurate ball. It does two things. Number one, it strikes fear in the defense. And number two, you gain respect for your teammates. Allen on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's of the first. Straight ahead, here's Cook. Runs inside the 35. Play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Even with everything he wrapped up on that run, you could argue he deserved maybe a little bit more. That call was the perfect one to break for big yards. The only thing that saved the defense from the score was getting that contact to slow him down and eventually, finally, stop him. First down, and they go right back to it. And they'll stop him after a short gain to the 13. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That is the holding penalty. They'll run here following the penalty. And he'll go down here at the 16. Got him five yards back, and that's going to bring up third and ten. To Cook. And this is down all the way to the three. That's a 
gain a 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffed out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Back to throw now, Allen. Flushed out of the pocket. This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And the pressure drives them backwards. over the last decade in football. The Legion of Boom, obviously, out in Seattle. But how about the no-fly zone that was cooking in Denver? That right there, that is a no-fly zone. Trying to make the play in the end zone and a beautiful job by the defender to knock it away. That one came with a higher degree of difficulty. He had to balance focusing on the catch while staying in balance. held up three straight plays. They just couldn't come up with the one final stop they needed to get off the field. And how about this offense? Courage of the offense to run it back for one more snap and make the adjustments on fourth and goal to finally punch it in. Quite the mini little chess match we just saw play out over those last four plays. Bass on for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Bills double their lead to 14. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Chenault on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now Seattle all set to go here on offense. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. From the gun, Smith. He gets it complete to Kenneth Walker. He gets it forward for a gain of three. DeMar Hamlin getting there for the tackle. Seahawks in their hurry-up offense. They need to get everyone to the line. From the 28, it's Kirk Metcalf. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. Markers reset, ball at the 37. They give up the gut to Walker. No one around, he's got space. Nice cut back to the right sideline. And they take it across the goal line. Touchdown, Seattle. The Seahawks make it a one-score game before halftime. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. Wow, great stuff there, Brock. He busted that one open, got downhill, and got in for six. Huge run there. Yeah, and this is how you break a game open. He found that lane, and he was gone. What a tremendous effort in the blocking scheme there to just spring him enough 
so he could take it to the house. Myers to add the PAT. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Seahawks chuck the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Johnson with a return here. Good looking return here, and he's got room. This return makes it up to the 37 as he's tackled. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and 10. Throwing here, Allen. He finds Kincaid. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. They send Hollins in motion right. Allen now on first down. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Devin Witherspoon there on the stop. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 41. Completed over the middle. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. So Buffalo's going to call it second time out. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. To the air again, Allen. That one is incomplete. The clock now down to 16 seconds remaining. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. The throw again. It's Allen. Finds Kincaid. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. Now just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. Ball on the right hash for this 36-yard look. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that will push it to double digits in a two-possession game. I know. You always want to finish drives in the end zone. But no matter what, the important thing is they end in some kind of points. And that's mission accomplished there. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. He'll bring it out from a couple yards deep. He's hauled down on what is the final play of our first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills leading. Now we'll jump from the West Coast to the East Coast down to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins.
As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Bass now to kick this away. Here comes Williams on the return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. They've got first down from the 31. Now an inside give to Walker. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. Dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. This one intended for the running back. So that brings up second down. scrimmage but the minute you do that Kate you start opening up those throwing lanes this is how balance takes apart a defense let's see how they attack this first down Brock from the 43 staying with Walker and he's gonna run this down to the 36 yard line it's a solid seven yard pickup on first down now they're gonna have second and three Shotgun snap to Smith. He puts some power on a deep one left. That's much too high and out of the end zone. Incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And it sets up second down. Well, QB put it pretty close to the sideline to begin with. And the defender, look at him, just put his little hand right out there. It just encouraged it to fall out of bounds. This is Walker on second. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. That's Gregory Russo who cleaned up that play. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Out of the gun, here's Smith. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. You know, in baseball, they call tip of the cap. I'll tip my cap at that pitcher. I'll tip my cap at that guy that just outdueled me. And sometimes it's a QB against a rush like that. You just tip your cap, and you take the sack.
Jason Myers out there now to try a field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. From the right hash, 55 yards out. And that one is not where he needed it to be. It is off and no good. And the deficit remains two scores. The Bills headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Running back sent in motion. First and ten, here's Allen. Complete, it's Cooper. He has room past the 25. He finds 37 yards on the play to move those chains. Just excellent effort on that catch. And a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. Taking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. From the red zone now. Falls to the ground, now left, incomplete. Couldn't connect with Amari Cooper. So second down coming up. short of the first. Third and just two to go. Davis takes it straight ahead. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Nine-yard pickup, and it sets him up with first and goal. so badly wants. And he pushed for it, but they managed to stop him at the two. It's a three-yard pickup. That moves him a little bit closer. Third and goal coming up. on for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Rams take a three possession lead.
Vance now to kick this away. Here's Chenault on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Seahawks offense running out now. They're running out of time to get this game into a more manageable spot, Brock. We've got a three-score deficit, and we're in quarter number three. First down, Smith to throw. Finds him over the middle. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Second and three now. They go play action. Here's Smith. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. When we think about safeties, I mean, it's, it's just right in the name, right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Smith to the air now. Into the hands of Walker. It's a pickup of 11. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Well, that was great timing. Great timing by the big fellas to get out in front of that screen. You could see it coming. Running back has the lineman in front of him to clear a little space. It was all about his athleticism after that. First and ten from the 41. One in left. Here's Walker. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Play fake. Now Smith to throw. Fits it through the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. The give now to Walker. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. And off to Walker from the gun. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays, too. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Not that he needed to, but he'll always try and remind people that he's a threat running it in addition to slinging it all over the field. Second and three now. Walker now from the gun. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. They go play action here. That one's incomplete in the end zone. That throw doesn't lead to six. So they're left facing a fourth down. 
He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. For the second time today, they're going to run the kick team out for the field goal. A very short kick here from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the gap closes to 14 points. Here in the third quarter, he gets a chance to make up for the miss on his first attempt of the game. This time, well, he is totally dialed in, and he gets this one to count. Here's Myers now to handle the kickoff. Johnson now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm -hmm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. You know, that's one of those cases and we see it at every level. He simply took off before he got full possession, and that's simply a drop. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He's got the hook up to Cooper. This is ahead for about five. Leonard Williams applying the hit there. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz, and he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Allen on third and short. Searches from the pocket. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they want. wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just caught. Hunter takes the field on fourth down and he sends this one flying. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. Ball at the 33 for first down. First play of the drive, here's Walker. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's the Seahawks with possession, needing to erase that deficit in a hurry. Six coming up here. From the 38. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. Throwing off the play fake here. Walker hauls it in. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So they'll let the play stand, decline the penalty, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And something on the return, but not much, as it still ends inside the 20. The visitors ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. 
Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Has him on the quick hitter. Has some daylight through the 40. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That's a 38-yard play for him to move the sticks. Speed kills, baby. You better make that tackle right away on these receivers or you're going to get some serious yak. Those yards after catch just like that. Taking a short gain and turning it into an explosive play. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45, Brock, with a new set of downs to boot. Now the shotgun give to Cook. He breaks the tackle, and he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. They come through with a nice gain there, gain of 10, first down. Well, he was a second late to break this one downfield. Still, a quick bounce to the outside, and the counterplay that gains some good, positive yards. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Allen now on first down. Well, very quick throw, but they couldn't connect. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. to throw now, Allen. Nearly intercepted. Oh, he almost had it. Couldn't bring it in. Incomplete. That brings up third down. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. well-designed route right there. He really made it easy to get that pass to him. Creating space, QB receiver, deliver. First and goal now as they try to pad this lead. Working inside the red zone. This one's caught. And they're going to touch him down after a short pickup. Placed at the seven. It's second and goal. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And they make a stop at the last minute. It's a game down to the one. Give him six yards. That's going to set up third and goal. be a free play. Let's see what they do. And that one's incomplete. For now, it brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty play is all about. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. From a bit closer now, another look at third and goal. turn to their kicker Tyler Bass for the field goal try. This is a chip shot from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that makes this a three score game. 
I think you can call this one now, Kate. This field goal makes it a three-score game, and even the most improbable comeback attempts are going to have a hard time erasing that type of deficit here in the final quarter. Bass now to kick this away. Here's Chenault on the return. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Seattle offense eager to get back on the field. And as much as we thought we'd be watching highlights here, talking about this passing game, Brock, it's been the guys on the other side of the ball who come in and stolen that spotlight. Yeah, and in an offensive-driven league, and one that sometimes even legislated that way, it's nice and refreshing <laughs> to see a defense put together an effort like this. Amen. Be the ones everybody's talking about for how well they've played on their side of the ball. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. You know, so often we hear of a pass and catch downfield taking timing and anticipation. Well, the screen is actually something that takes a lot of practice reps. There are so many moving parts from the lineman to the running back to the timing with the quarterback. That's well done. Shotgun snap to Smith. Completed over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Here's Smith. Dumps it off to his running back. And this one doesn't go far. Second down now, seven to go. That extra half second, Kate, that's it. You know, we talk about timing in the passing game all the time, the precision. Well, it's the same thing with the drop. If you have too long of a delay, you give a D-tackle like that a chance to get home and make a play. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. From the gun, Smith. He beams one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. within two possessions. Tyler Lockett the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Spread the field and send him all deep, baby. All right, this might be a stupid question, Brock, but what makes that play call successful against an NFL secondary? Yeah, because four verts is good against a college secondary, a high school secondary, a Pop Warner secondary, because it burdens and stresses that defense. And if you got people that can run and you got four choices to choose from, Oftentimes, you'll find one to hit on. That one right down the middle. And the Seahawks cut the lead down to 10. That lead trimmed just a bit. Down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. Has this at the 6. And this drive will start inside the 25. The visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. They're out and set, first and 10. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. He finds Kincaid. And they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Oh, look at this. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he's able to get back to the line, but that is all. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. You know, that's one of those plays when you call it, you expect to get decent yards every time. Seeing it stopped at the line, man, that's deflating offensively. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. 
Ooh, the hard count worked. Somebody jumped. I think this is going to give them the first. Well, it's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. They'll have a new set of downs following that defensive penalty. Running it after the penalty. And he's short of the first after a mild game. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They send Hollins in motion right. Allen from the gun here on third. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Cook trying this one up the gut. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Another one for Cook. Jukes at a one stop. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pick up there. And that's good for a Bills first down. down play nets and five it's gonna be second and five straight ahead here's cook and he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs they get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from Seattle. Bills holding a 10-point lead. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. This is Cook. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game.
the Seahawks adding an extra DB here. Third down coming. Now run by Cook. And that play is brought to a halt. So they're going to say at the five-yard line. Now the Seahawks are going to spend their third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. He goes to a knee as time winds down in this one. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. But the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. Here's Cook. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. It'll be a five-yard gain. That brings up third and goal. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to tick down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So the Bills fight their way to a win on the road. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win.